and shit, man. I got to question your altitude right now. <laughs> man, you know, oh, man, the, the house is a mess. We just we just moved, so, you know what I'm saying? We, my girl is still getting, you know, she got a little class, a little taste. She just still getting it together, right, though. Right. I, I'd be amazed at what she come up with sometimes. How you been? Man, I can't complain, man. You complain, people run from you. I very rarely seen you upset or agitated. Your live stream yeah. on Instagram yesterday, you looked at a little bit pissed off. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, because I kept getting all of these calls about this publishing stuff, you know? Everybody's calling. And 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 did he give you your publishing? And, and all of that. But, you know, one of my partners had to remind me yesterday. He was like, man, we administered our own publishing. So I think one of the, the amazing things about the deal I had structured with um, Puff was I always got my publishing. Like I used to be sitting in the studio and I used to be telling Rob Depp, I'd be like, yeah, the checks is coming out next week. They'd be like, what checks? I'd be like, publishing checks. I was like, you don't get a check? <laughs> they were like, no, I ain't get no check. Well, I'm, I'll get a check. Do you think the way that, that you became to be a bad boy artist and the circumstances under the circumstances under which you were signed has to do with him handling you a bit different? Very much so. Okay. Very much so. So I didn't go ahead. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the things that I didn't really understand sometimes when when, when people didn't get a check, like from ASCAP or BMI. I was with ASCAP, BMI. EMI, Sony Music, Sony ATV, all of that, right? Right. I'm, with the, I'm a firm member of those 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 companies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um so uh so it's like um I always got to see my new big John over at EMI. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I knew I knew when the checks was coming. In fact, there was a time, right? When when you used to get a check, it used to come to Janice Cohn's office or Puff office, and then they would cut you a check. So I had to wait for them to get the check, wait for the check to clear, and then I get a check, right? Janice I wouldn't Combs handle my mother, business, right? man. I got my check go right to my deposit. Janice Combs was his mother? That's his yeah. Mother. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's his mom's. Yeah. I got my publishing going right to my bank account. So was that ever one of your issues with him? Or did you have a problem with how he was doing other people? Nah, my, my I ain't really never <clears throat> my issue. You know how when you when you when you man, you know you're a strong man. You don't really find <clears throat> issues between you and other men. True. You know what I'm saying? You be like, cause we all men, so things, problems, and things is just things that we go through in life. But sometimes when I look at you know, um, for, let's say an example, like if it was you and me. And and we was both striving to make something number one together, whether it be we was going in on making those hats that you make, those nice hats that you have for sale, you know, that everyone should be wearing, especially this winter. If you don't have one of those, we're gonna start questioning your uh your street accountability. You gotta fashion, have this. Fashion integrity. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have this, yes. But you know, it's like if we go in company and we try to make that number one. And then all of a sudden, it go number one, and then you you they just know you for it. They don't know no you know me for it, and we worked hard on it together. You know say that I need I need you to say that again. You said that they become known for it, and you don't. Yeah, they become known for it, and then it's almost like when you when you when you somebody that can help somebody who's great create things, they always want to keep you in the shadow. They don't never want. You to be the French thing, because once the world understands what's what's about you, then now nothing. It's hard for them to, to to really be fly when they realize what's fly is. Yeah, you've you said know. this repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, you mean you know, that? So they yeah. dumb down your flyness. You know, they tone it down, so you know they be like, "Damn, don't you know if this if if this nigga is this nice, what they gonna think about us?" Right. All right, so look, check, right? Boom. 
getting back to the interview, I ain't never seen you on a live stream an hour, a hour long. I told you this shit worked. Oh yeah, I didn't even know. <laughs> you the funny going nigga. Like I've been that. telling, I've been telling you for some years about the live stream and it has power and that you could be utilizing it. Yesterday, yeah, but- yesterday you went in that motherfucking gave a motherfucker an hour, fifty nine minutes and shit. What triggered this? What made you upset? Because I'm looking at your ma- mannerisms on the camera. Mm-hmm. And you like, man, fuck that publisher, nigga. Man, that fuck like, that publisher. It's like, it's like, cause, cause when you think about it and the feeling of it, you know what I mean. Like, even though he gave, you, you know, he had a certain percent of what was mine. You know what I'm saying? So he gave me back that certain percent that he had that that wasn't that. He gave me back that. So that gave me back a hundred percent. So right. then, with the hundred percent, when you think about the hundred percent, what it would used to be worth. Man, it was it was good when you needed it, but right now at this point in time, you know, if I ever get a phone call from from Puff on the phone, you know, uh, I, I would expect for it to be about so many different things other than I'm giving you your publishing back. What I would rather it be is, hey, you know what? I realized that you did work hard with me to make this thing happen, and so what I'm doing is I'm, you know, dealing with self. He told me like this. He was like, I'm taking this love thing serious. I want you to know that. He said, I'm taking this love thing serious. I was like, congratulations on that. Right. Word. This is this is this is this man gully. So I was like, um, congratulations on that. He said, so I want you to be the first to know that I'm giving my artists back all of their publishing and I'm giving you back your publishing. I was right. like, yeah. I was like, man, that's dope. I said, but um, how about this? How about if you keep the publishing and this give me money? Cause I, 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 I only thing I'm gonna do is try to get rid of it anyhow. So why don't you just keep that and then Cash give me money? Out. Yeah. Right. I even said, how about, how about let's let's buy a couple of houses that I want to rehab. Help me do that. You know, here in Atlanta, let's buy a couple of houses or something. Let's rehab them. Call them the Sean John houses for the community and let's just give them away to people who we feel might need the home. Let's do some good stuff, right? That's he was like, yeah, one day we could sit down and talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> so then he was like, but I'm taking this love thing serious. So I'm like, cool. So then he was like, um, you know, so he was going to get the publishing back and all of that. You know, at, at that time, it didn't, I was just like shocked because I'm like, man, I, what am I going to do with that? That stuff ain't, let me ask you a question. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? You just asked your own you just asked yourself the question. You said, what am I gonna do with that? What am I gonna do with that? Okay, all right, check it out. When, when you receive your publishing, did, does that mean you have access to the songs that you did? Like you could do what you want with them and shit like that? Right. But see, it's a twist. Explain the twist. All right, here's the twist. You got people who doing movies, people who doing soundtracks, all kind of stuff like that. And so they looking for material. So what they do is they'll go to like, you know, and say, okay, we want to get these songs licensed to use on this right here. But usually right. the songs that they want to get licensed, they already done did some kind of deal with it. So it's really, they only going to put out what they own. So like, if you look at uh, Rob Bass, the other day on 50 Years of Hip Hop, I don't know if Rob Bass showed up, did he? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just certain people if you, if you know, I don't know. It's just like uh, if your song is not, it's not gonna get placed in the movie if the if it's not being pitched by people who doing movies to the right people who have the licensing for it. Okay, let me ask you another question. Mm-hmm. Are you saying that him giving your publishing your prospects of earning from it is dead or moot? Man, dead. Why would you say that? Uh, let me ask you another question. If somebody decided tomorrow they wanted to put out a sneaker commercial and they wanted the Bad Boy for Life song or song, does that, or can you be compensated from, from them nah. using that song? You could be compensated for them using that song, but like they use Bad Boy for Life in the Super Bowl. They use Bad Boy for Life all the time. All right, Mark, hold on. It mm-hmm. looked like you looking at it like, you looking at how much he he earned for from it, as opposed to looking at what you can earn from it now that you have it in your possession yeah. and shit. Nice. Hold on, Mark. Hold on, Mark. Because mm-hmm. you're a grown man, and I can't change your feelings about it. Uh, he did have it in movies and different things like that. Are you saying that now that you have your hand in it, 
that it can't that you can't continue to res uh, receive residuals from this. You receive some residuals, Gully, but now, like let's say they they don't have radio where they're streaming Bad Boy for Life. So we we getting seven hundred spins today on this radio station, five hundred on this radio station, thousand on this. All of those things is where added up and made it a real nice check. But now radio is not like that. So that changed the whole publishing game. In order to get the publishing now, people got to either be streaming at YouTube, something like that. So now you get paid in a different way. And the way that you get paid, you got to do three times as much. It's like you can read my book online. If you read the whole book, the book, they'll only give me $4 for it. But if you buy the book, I make more money. Right. So I lose money by letting people read it for free online. So it's like publishing. So it's, it's not worth as much as it used to be. Not unless you have a big song like AT&T is using it, Sam Cooke, sitting on the dock of the bay. You know what I'm saying? You have a song like that. Those are songs that have long legs. <coughs> but not too many rappers have songs with long legs. Even if you look at Ludacris, um, every song that he may have done, it's, it's like how many people are going to pull that song back out 30 years from now and say, this is my joint or use it in this. You know, certain songs, they may do certain, they, certain ones they don't. So it's just about the songs, you know what I'm saying? And, and how those songs relate to the world. Like even if you think of the locks, um, the Benjamins, dun, 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 it's all about the Benjamins. <laughs> it's off the hook. They might have, a, they might have, they might pull that and put it into an AT&T commercial 30 years from now. You know what I'm saying? Certain songs they will, certain songs they won't. So if you got you think, album you songs, you don't, you don't think you don't think Bad Boy for Life got that type of hang time or longevity? It did, it did it. But I think I started seeing when it was dwindling. I started see, I seen it go from something big to something that wasn't as big. You know, um, I seen you know when when Super Bowl was on, they would play it, but now they playing other songs at Super Bowl now. So that times change, things move on. So. Right. It's not as interesting as it as it was back then, you know. Not too many. All of the kids now, when I when I tell kids about Bad Boy for Life, they don't even know about the song. They don't. Sometimes they don't know who Diddy is, and they definitely don't be knowing who I am. Sometimes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. Hold on, I'm on live. What's going on? What's up? What's up, baby? All right. I'm Yo, all right. I'm, I'm gonna see you before. Yo, I'm my bad about that. We we I'm back. I right, um, so um you receive you receive the publishing and you don't feel no type of way about it. You feel it ain't gonna change your life one way or another. Nah, no. Nah, I already I already know the value of it. See, one thing a lot of people also don't know. I've been dealing with the publishing industry for a long, long, long time, and I know all of the investors who buy publishing. I know how much the publishing is worth from now until when you're 50 years old or however old you're going to grow to be. I already know what your checks is going to be because they have a system where they look at it. Here how it go. Here's how it going. Then you times it by X amount of years. You can tell what that stream is doing. Not unless a person has a real, you know, a big song like um, big, big song. Chris Brown big. Rihanna big. You know what I'm saying? Those is big artists. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Check it out, right? In the mm -hmm. comments, in the comments under your live stream, I seen a lot of people trying. They was trying to demoralize your contributions to hip hop. And they was like, uh, that nigga complaining about, you know, the publishing because he ain't gonna get no money because he ain't do nothing over there. They they're under the uh impression that you only was on Bad Boy for Life and I believe Muscle Game with Black Rob. Mm -hmm. could, you, could you go ahead and run uh, run off your extensive writer's history and how much damage you did mm -hmm. over there as a writer? I'm going to tell you like this. One of the biggest songs that I ever did, I think one of the biggest songs Puffy ever did, he did it with Led Zeppelin to come with me when he did the Godzilla, and it was in the Godzilla movie. I wrote that. Then we did some, some songs. We did a song with David Bowie. This is not America on the training day. I did Muscle Gang with Black Rob. I did a few songs on Rob album. I did uh, on, on the Biggie, 
two other Snoop Dogg, Mark Curry, Dangerous MCs. I did the uh, no, you know, the Puff Daddy uh, and the Family, probably seven seven songs on there. And 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 I wrote a lot of Puff's music, a lot of his verses, you know, along with other artists like Source Money, um, even even from the Hood Fellas, a um, couple of Maroc. Mo, Mo you know, he had writers too, people who used to write. So I was a writer too. That was basically, you know, that that's that's it. It's more than just nothing. Yeah, I needed you to let them know how heavy you was over there and how much, um, you know, leverage you have in, in regards to this conversation. <laughs> now, let me ask you something. You just mm-hmm. named all of those records, all those projects that mm-hmm. you were on. When he just uh, gives you, when he just gave you your publishing back, all of those projects that you just named, that means you you you, you now can be totally compensated for those songs? Yeah, but see... I get these emails every now and then, go, and they be from movies or, or people who want to use Bad Boy for Life on a. Um, I've seen one. You showed me one in person. Yeah. I've seen it. I get them all the time. Yeah. And they have, this is what they, they be like, we want to use three seconds of Bad Boy for Life, da 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 da. Do you approve? Yes. You approve. They be like, all right, we're going to give you $300 or however it must be when you break it down and what it break down to. It don't break down to be you no know, whole bunch of, bunch of bread. Right. right, but when you have a song and people are looking for it, like to put it in, they want to dance to it in London and things like that, because the world is a big place. So, Bad right. Boy for Life still to have some longevity in in London or France or something like that. But um, it's, it doesn't really add up to um, to say you can go get a, um, a, a G wagon. Right. Let me clarify something because it kind of sounded funny when you said it. Mm-hmm. When 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 he, when when Mark mentioned Sauce Money, he Sauce didn't say, money. he didn't say he was writing for Sauce Money. He said he, along with Sauce Money and Maroc, he was naming the writers. He didn't say yeah, the that. writers. Yeah, he yeah. Didn't. I know Sauce Money. Nice. He don't need nobody to write for him. Right. You no, know, don't turn the ten to a don't turn the two to a ten. If you just listen, it all be understood. All right, so uh, she got a dog fight. My nigga, that's security. (laughs) That's security. All right, um, how does the release of publishing for the rest of the bad boy artists? How does that affect people, in your opinion? How does the what? How does that affect people? You know, other bad boy artists, in your opinion, now that people got their publishing back. Who do you feel got some um, got a song that they they gonna earn from amongst your peers? Um, I think Carl Thomas Emotional might might have some legs on it. Um, Biggie Smalls, some of his songs definitely got some legs on them. Uh, Black Rob got woe. That song got some legs on it. Let me see. I don't know. Total might. uh, Faith Evans got several. Maybe. She got a couple of them. Uh, Let me see. You could put Day 20. The Locks got maybe one or two. They got Money, Power, Respect. And then they got... um, the, uh, if you yeah 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 they got they got they got maybe two or three, right? Right. But then, other than that, not too many other songs were that big. Who will um receive comp- compensation for flavor in your ear? Whoa! Now we can get that one too. Flavor in the ear definitely got something. But that's since Craig Mack, you know, since he passed, rest in peace. Um, his, his wife got it. His wife got it. How did that situation develop? How did how did how did Craig <laughs> Mack's wife end up being compensated with her publishing? Go ahead and share it with him, G. Yeah, because cause soon soon as Puff called me and said, "I want you to be the first to let to know that I'm giving all my artists back their publishing," the first person I called was his wife. I said, "Roxanne, 
call this number right here and talk to these people right there and tell them who you are and tell them you want your money. And she called and they gave them, they, they, they took care of her. I always be, be, be making sure that everybody who don't know it is right. going to know it. I'll be like, all right, did you call so-and-so and say this? Did you did you call this? Then yeah. some of the artists, we you know, I call, we talk, and they be the same way I be like, I'm, they be, fuck all of that. The only reason why he doing that is because he got a big deal over here on the table for X amount of millions of dollars, and he probably just like, yo, just fuck this. If you think about what, is, what it was really worth, yeah. you know, and then so, um what it would it really would it really boil down to gully with people, you know, may not, you know, get this one, but like let's say he got a catalog. He has the bad boy catalog, the publishing. He can go and get a hundred million dollars off of that catalog, right? And then right. that be the hundred million dollars that you call Puff Daddy. Right. But then he got to pay that catalog. Once he pay that catalog, the debt off or whatever he loaned or borrowed against that catalog, that publishing stream becomes his again. So instead of him redoing the catalog again, he said he's going to give it back to the artist. He could have probably took it and got 50 million or 40 million or something like that. But he said, I don't want the 40 or 50, whatever it may be, whatever it is they may offer. And he said, I don't want it. And I'll get the, my, put the publishing back to the artist. Obviously, the deal might have been too low for him. They probably said, yo, this stream is nothing. We can only give you $10 million. He's like, you only going to give me $10 million, Puff Daddy? Before I take $10 million, I give all of the publishing back to them. So essentially, of course, it was a reason for all of this. It was a, a business decision. Was yeah, and it, was, it had to have been. And then it was also, um, it, it, he had to have paid that, that, that old catalog you know, when he, his first loan, he might have recouped out of his loan, right? And then they're going to go into giving him another loan. And instead of him taking the second loan, because it may not have been big enough, he was like, you know what? I'll just give it back. It probably wasn't even, it probably wasn't even worth it to him for to right. even have it under his name. Right. If he sold the bad boy catalog, wouldn't he need all of y'all? Nah, because, you know, it's just like um, Dr. Dre selling his catalog for 200 and something million dollars. You know, the catalog is just, you know, the things that, that he, you know, even though you still got other songs that people never heard, masters, things like that. So, you know, Dr. Dre still got, you know, a catalog is different. You know, like you, you have several people's publishing under this catalog. But, you know, um, when you can get along with a catalog, you can you can get some money. Right. It's just like Ludacris could get money for his crew. They got a catalog. T.I. can get the money for his crew. They got a catalog of, of what's going on there. You know? Right. So, you know, but but when but when a person does that and then you don't break the bread and you don't share, you be like, you just got the money against the everything. And then now, you know what I mean? You be fair with a little bit of the money. You know what I'm saying? Then they don't do that. So... Mm. Uh, That's why I thought the call was going to be more, on, you know. Let's 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 let's. If he sold it, let me ask you this: If he sold it, and you say he, you know, if he if he got hundreds of millions of dollars from from it, would he in turn have to break down, you know, compensate his writers and shit like that? Like, yeah. would, 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 would would y'all benefit benefit from it? You still get your writers. Your writers can come from. You understand like what I'm saying? Cap. You understand what I'm saying? If he, if he sold it, if he sold it, boom. Would that, uh, and when, if, if he sold it, would he have to in turn pay his writers? You know what I'm saying? Because he just sold something that y'all created together, right? Right. But, but, but what he sold, like, let's say, like how I know it, you still got writers and then you got publishers. I'm still my writer. So even though ASCAP cut a check, I get a writer's portion of the check because I'm a writer. I wrote it. Right. Then you got the publisher side, which is when it was played on the radio and when it was played on the commercials and all of that. You get a check for that. Yeah. The sales, the mechanical part of it was sales. That's EMI, Sony ATV. They 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 collect or no. So you get a couple of different publishing checks. But the publishing check that you would get from Sony is not how it used to be because you're not getting radio spins. You're not getting those. Hey, you're not getting those kind of spins that it, you know, they, the music is being played different now. 
times yeah. has changed, man. And everything changed except for the structure. Or like this right here is like a shock to the to a part of the world because the structure of how we listen to music and how we even sell music right. has changed. So that old pattern of how we used to do business, the whole value system of that is just over, you know. Yeah. So it's like having a record store in the middle of the mall now. It's like people don't have records. Yeah. You know, it's like a vinyl shop. Rare. Your, your hour-long video on Instagram, uh, it's going to trigger the streams. This whole incident, is gonna, you know, everything that you, you, you just done, it's going to trigger the streams and shit. So you're going to have a big check coming soon. I don't know how quarterly they come. I don't know. You might have to call me and tell me how to monetize on that now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, yo. but you know, I didn't, I didn't, I, for real, Gully, I did that because I, I was, you know, I, I really felt it, you know, and, and like, even when he did that, man, I'm telling you, I, I was like, man, I don't want that. He was like, give me your publishing back. I'm like, man, there's so many. I even tried to sell it to him on the phone. <laughs> Soon as he told me I'm giving you a publishing back, I was like, it's all mine. I was like, I bet. Do you want to buy it? Now I want to sell it to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You shot him a pitch sure. from the door. Man. Huh? You shot him a pitch from the door. Man, right off. Soon as he yeah, it was like a um, you know how somebody passed you ball off the dribble. Right. And you pass it right back yeah, to him. He back to him. He yeah. threw it, he threw it at me. We ain't playing for I threw it right back. Yo, <laughs> come on, man. Throw that back. What am I? <laughs> Then he already knew I'm in the publishing thing, so he said, I already know you know what to do with it. I'm like, yeah, I know what to do with it. You better right. get rid of that shit, man. <laughs> better get rid of it, because you look, you got to look at you be like, all right, my publishing going to break down to $2 million. I'm going to get it in four years, but I might die next year. Then I only got this much? Fuck that. Give me my money up front. Hey, Give me my money up front. Y'all wait on it. I ain't doing it. This shit that you're saying to me right now, is this the reason why there's been a surge of artists selling their publishing, selling their catalog? Like, a lot of people have done it the last couple of years. How, how, how It was high profile. I can't remember the names off the top. But is that mm -hmm. why people dumping their shit? Got to get rid of it, because it's worth more. You want all it like, if you're smart, and you could take four years worth of your money up front, opposed to waiting four years to get the same amount of money, for a right. little bit of money, I'd rather do that and let them gamble with the system if it lose or win. Let me get my for sure money and go do what I need to do. Now, when you do what you need to do, it's like a bank. Now, you could go pay that money back and get more money right. or however it goes. But your publishing stream has to have some kind of um, it has to have some kind of some kind of value to it in order for you to really win off it like that. You know, let what me saying? ask you about this. I heard this from a producer, a respected producer. Is there like a, a publisher's pool where you can go and buy people's publishing? Definitely. It's like three companies. I know oh, all yeah. three of them. Explain, all explain, explain that concept where, where someone, an investor, somebody who got some bread and shit, can go and buy somebody publishing. Explain how that works. All right. Um, let's say, let's say um, sitting on the dock of the bay, Sam Cook. They're gonna put that in the auction. Or they wanna they wanna sell it. That's gonna sell for a lot of money because that song has been in rotation from back then and it's still in right now and it's never gonna go nowhere. So that right there is an investment. It's it, it, it I'll buy I would buy that because um you're gonna have years of money to come. So it's like I can sit back and just collect the money that of the residuals off of that one song, right? Or you got to take a big artist. He said he didn't want his pub. Now he had it the whole time. What is he? I said he had a percentage of it. Why don't you listen to it? If you listen, you can learn a lot. If you just just be talking, you won't. You can't talk and and listen at the same time. Go ahead, Mark. Don't don't pay no attention. So yeah. Um, so um, yeah. If it's a, if it's some something big like that. You know, um, those is big songs. That's what I'm saying. It's a difference. A lot of artists, like, you can look at, um, uh, what's the boy name? Um, Neo, the singer dude. Yeah. It's, it's, people don't have though, that, that longevity. Like, it's a lot of artists now opposed to Tupac. Tupac music is always going to have that kind, because he was only, it was only one Tupac. Yeah. Now it's 52 Tupacs. No, so ain't. the opportunity ain't no, there ain't. for all of them. 
It's not you 50 know. Tupac's. No, it's 50 artists. That's as big as he was. You know? Yeah, I, I, I can't dispute that. Hey, yeah. uh, do, do you think that Keith Murray got his back? Keith the Murray's most better. beautifulest thing in this world. Oh, Keith Murray? Yeah. With the short he did with Puff? Yeah. You Probably. said he gave everybody they publishing back. Probably. If he did. Yeah. Those who didn't, they know now. Right. You know, I had to call his lawyers, and, and his lawyers, you know, gave the publishing, and, like, and then, bam, now now they give you publishing back. Now you got to look at it. You say, all right, if I already got a publishing deal, does this mean I get a separate check? Because he, oh, he giving you back part of something that was already yours. Yeah. So then now, what do you get? Two checks now? The part that he was getting plus. So now it just it's a confusing thing because now there's no difference to break it up. You know, you got to go get a new deal now. Structure. They have to restructure your old deal to, to add in what he gave you back. The way that you describing this shit to me, I'm viewing, I'm you know visualizing this shit up as like I'm looking at the stock exchange board and shit, right? Mm -hmm. And you got these different songs and shit. You know, I'm looking at them in terms of stocks. Yeah. Um, Will Smith song "Summertime" and shit. That's got to be a bad motherfucker, huh? That's a bad motherfucker. That's what. Made, that's why Will Smith is Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? It's when you when you artists like that. He it's over. that fucking so he gonna get those spins every fucking summer until he. You no, know, his kids is even gonna get it. Like, wow, wow. You know? That's big songs though, and, and and if they ain't big songs like that, publishing really like of all the publishing that I might got back might have been worth about ten thousand dollars. And you for the next for the ten thousand dollars over the next seven years. In so your you in your career, so you 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 basically, you basically saying you made more money in performance than you did in publishing so far. Yeah, performance was was bigger because we had more radio play. Um, performance was big. Sales, not sales, because nobody's buying music no more. So if you if nobody's buying music, then where's the um, the music, the publishing for that coming? The sales now it turned into YouTube. Um, it it turned it turns into YouTube streams. And then the cool that, thing um, is, do you know that? Do you know that the that the YouTube streams count now? Do yeah, they that? do. But they have they have a thing now. Where this is where it goes. Like for the amount of YouTube streams you got to get for the dollar that you get out of it, you got to do so many YouTube streams that they thinking it's unfair. It's gonna be a load of pistol anyway. It's their platform, but you don't like the um, you don't like the earning potential of a song like Bad Boy for Life even on YouTube. You don't think people play that shit, man? Yeah, they could play it, but I'm saying the amount of money that you get from a from a play, like yeah. just imagine if you get something and it'd be like zero point zero 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 four percent of a penny. Yeah. So every time it's played, you get zero point zero 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 four percent of a penny. In order for you to get one cent, they might have to play it fifteen times, twenty times, something however many times it might be. So by the time you make one penny, you'd be like, wow, I'm doing a whole bunch of getting played, but I'm not making a lot of money off of how it's going. Right. That's how that go. That's how streaming is. But when you was getting money, like from publishing, it was different because it was from sale. So you spend $20, X amount of that goes to this and this and the, the artist, whatever it breaks down. You know what I'm saying? But when um, should the light pour. That's how that break down. But um what about what about there being multiple streaming sites now? Streaming sites, but streaming sites is good, but until they win what they trying to do with how they paying on streaming, what I'm saying is they, they making us like when somebody see you a million times on TV, mm -hmm. you, you gotta have something that kind of goes with that because a lot of people gonna be like, yo, I just saw you on TV. You can't be like, yeah, let me borrow a dollar. <laughs> they're gonna think you got money and all of that because you got to be seeing you a million times right right so 
the difference between somebody seeing you a million yeah. times and then having everything to go with being seen a million times, the money and everything to go along with it, now that's the problem. So you could have seen me a million times on Bad Boy for Life, but I wish I would have got paid for those million times that you saw me like that 100% how I needed it because that, you know, that that's different, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's a difference than seeing me and then hearing it or buying it. And who, what, what, what platform are they selling music on, Gully? It's just streaming. Um, I don't know people to... I think there's a luxury now that people, they don't have to even download the whole album. They could just download singles and shit like that. Right. You know you know how many people that's listening to music on YouTube that ain't even paying for the music? You know? Yeah, me, every day. <laughs> Do you know back in the days there was nothing like YouTube where you can go to and listen to people's music for free? You had to buy it or have it in your car, your cassette, CD or something? Yeah, that's this. This almost got to be like insulting for artists and shit to wake up in the morning and see they shit all over the place and they not getting nothing. That's the yeah, you're right. not. And then, and then, so now giving that back and there's no place that they selling music. What are we gonna do with that? That's like giving back an old car. It's like what are we gonna do with that? Man, ain't nobody, ain't nobody. Um, it ain't, it ain't on the radio like that no more. It's not. Come on, man. It's over. That's that's over. The whole way that they're making money now off of music is different. You know what I'm saying? It's not really a way that you can benefit from that. Right. So I, I already had when he was saying that he was giving publishing some I'm like, man, what is that, man? I want the money, man. I want the bread. I want the bread. That's what I want, man. And then the, not that money, that money. Not that money is, you know, somebody told me, so it only took you some money to shut up. Nah, it's not the money like that. You know, it's not like pay me for some hush money. Nah, forget that. Help me to get to where I want to go in life. Help me to be more happier than I am right now. How can I help you do that? He can give me a million dollars. I might want to go buy a couple of houses and flip them and sell it to some underprivileged families that need it. So not only is he helping me, he's going to help somebody else too. You know, we all help each other to help others. You know, that's what it's about. So when we create opportunity for each other to be able, that's a big thing. You know, some people you can create opportunity for them. It don't help nobody like Puff. He is. His opportunity don't really, you know, who is it? Who is it really, really helped? You know, is Puffy the helping type for the check? If he gonna get some money or something for it, he gonna help. I mean, I'm, I'm, which I don't think nothing wrong with that, but you know, but yeah. How do you rate him as a businessman and shit based on the? Shit that I'm hearing from you seems like a very, very, very um, clever businessman. He could be, but sometimes you know how you know how this how this one go. You be like, man, yeah, you know I keep it funky with you, like the shit that you saying to me. Mm -hmm. But everybody, everybody got everybody got a place where they do business. Right. This might be where he do his business best. I might do business better over there. So any way it go, at the end of the day, we both got to do business with each other the way that we both do business, if you understand what I'm saying. Sometimes you could be a nigga that's street, and a nigga could be somebody who's contractual. You'd be like, all right, I understand that you contract while I'm street. Yeah. So you'd be like, now, now I got I got a contract with you too now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We both got one. Yours is about this. Mine's is about this. And then that's it. They both equal the same. This depends on your business and how a nigga handling it. I ain't never really had to really worry about that kind of stuff with Puff. I, mean, I never. Yeah. You know. So the whole bad boy roster got their publishing back. I ain't want to hold you up. I just wanted to get some intricate details about the rant. You looked at a little pissed off and shit. You was because it ain't equivalent to no bread. It ain't. It ain't adding up. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't adding up. You can't hang that shit on the wall in the picture frame and be like, hey, that's the, all the publishing I used to have. That shit is almost like, what is it? Like a, 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 a scroll? What is it? 
You know what I'm saying? Is, is what do you, you you know you gotta it gotta have a value. You know what I'm saying? What's the value in it? Like, can I take this right here and walk into a bank and get a loan against it? What can I do with this? Right? Right. As soon as you find out what you could do with it, they're gonna be like, uh, yeah, we'll give you uh ten thousand dollars. That's all it's worth. Yeah. That's all it was worth when he had it. So that's the reason why he, I'm telling you, that he had, he had the, the, his second deal, he had to turn it down because they wasn't offering him enough money. Right. So he said, before I do that, I'm going to give everybody their shit back. That's the perfect time to give it back when there's nothing. It's the value. Okay. I appreciate you, man. I know you're. Your video still up there, blazing hot on Instagram. Tell them what your Instagram profile is and shit. So they man, the Instagram is uh, M A R K K one more time C U R R Y Mark K Curry on Instagram. The uh, that and you know to put some dribble with it, you know. And them hats, I was telling y'all, I'm serious about this. They got a new law they coming out with. I heard it on CNN. Any nigga who's official that don't have one of them gully skull caps this winter, they're going to be questioning you at all kind of places. The right. bus stop, train station, all you got to have. <laughs> I appreciate you, you my nigga. I'm going to put this audio up on the Dribble Podcast. I appreciate everybody who came through this morning and listened to this truth. Mark, I understand now. You gave me a lot more details about the music business. It's basically dead now. Yeah, it is. You, 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 you do. You, you are radio. You, yo, you know what? You are a record and a radio station all in one. You doing with radio stations. This is what's going on. More people is watching you than they listening to music. How the way that we learning things is different. How we, right. how we taking in information. We used to do it in music. Now we doing it in so many other different from other platforms. So it's just where. So how. How can publishing be as interesting as you know? The, you know when you look at what you get off of it. Now that we ain't never had that in the play, right? So you know how we taking information now is just different, man. It's just growing. I'm gonna um, give you one more question before we get up out mm -hmm. of here. This is for the world to hear and shit. Is your publishing still for sale? Is my publishing not? Nah. No, huh? no, 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 no. As soon as I got it, the first tried, thing I did. You tried to sell it back to Puff? Yeah, first thing I did was try to sell it back to him. He ain't bite. I guess the deal wasn't good enough for him. <laughs> so I took it to the next the next one. He threw it up right on in Why? I ain't ready to sit here and, and, and collect no $400, $300. That's, it comes so little. Right. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not what people think. One it's of not my... what people think. Let them start showing you. Let tell everybody to put some of their statements up or they publishing and how how it look. Just go to ASCAP, screenshot it, and show everybody what them publishings is looking like. Oh yeah, I know what they look like. I got an album out. That's the only reason I ain't been on this motherfucker bragging yet. <laughs> yeah, it be, it be. We, we know That's we got to have some kind out. of platform. People getting things for free. How are they gonna buy something? Right, right. One of my credible um, moderators in the chat said they just gave Polite seven years. That's probably why he dropped his music video yesterday. Mm -hmm. But I got to get up out of here, man. I got to get to working and shit, man. Y'all subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you again, Mark. All right, broski. I'll holla at you, man. I'll give you a All call right. when I get up off here. Yes, sir. Peace. All right.